Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chaz Jones and you guys see what we have here today. So let's get straight to it. As you guys can see, 700 V3 model. Thanks once again for got Rico hooking me up. But let's get straight to the shoe. But what a beautiful shoe this is. This is really, really a beautiful shoe to me. This is the 700 V3 Kyanite. So I don't know the story behind Kyanite. I know Kyanite has a story behind each one of the colorways of the sneaker. But what I do know is that I love this colorway. Um, besides the first version, which I really want to get my hands on on the V3, this is probably my favorite colorway. But let's get into the well, this one, and I think they had all black one. So don't don't kill me for that. But uh, no, let's get into the sneaker. So you have the all rubber outsole, the um, and that will come in like the cream colorway, and that goes on to the toe too. With this little rubber like feel this i don't know how you describe this material but it's really nice on the bottom you have a yellow outsole and then you'll see the little cream under it and then you'll see a they have greenish blue up under that which is really cool i'm still trying to i don't know if it's because my eyes aren't the best i think i see the green yeah i see the green just a little bit I don't think people have went into the color that much so you could see it the best. I'm gonna try and catch it on the B roll that you guys are seeing. But that's I actually see it now. And then you got the little blue dots at the bottom of the detail and then it's it stands up into blue blue ways, which I really like. And then you have the inner part which is the black. And I think that's I love this page type look because it it gives it that depth, but it also is really really cool the insole is just the black with the adidas kanye and the ortho light is what it says on the inside and then uh you have the black tongue slash sock liner type area then you obviously have the adidas um imprint on the back of the midsole but these are really really a beautiful shoe i used to not like the 700s but i think this is the model to finally take me over i do like the 700 v ones but I think the 700 V3 is the best version. And these are also, you guys, glow in the dark. I will try to capture that for you guys. I don't know how well I will be able to because I don't have a backlight yet. I will get one in the future. But I wasn't expecting these to be glow in the dark until I looked them up. But the cage is super, super nice. I love that look of the sneaker also. That's another one of my favorites. I think my two favorite features are the cage and the midsole those are two of my favorite features and as i got to talk to you guys about i wanted to let you guys know yes i think these are classic models that these guys that adidas are coming up with and i wish that nike would kind of give the freedom to for the creators over there to do it i think they did so a little bit with jerry lorenzo giving him i think two different silhouettes to it might have been two or three um with the fear of god one I know it was another version of that high that had came out. I don't know if they counted if he counted that as a whole different silhouette. And then I know the love. I feel like if they did more like Adidas and gave them their own look and style, I feel like we would be talking about them in this conversation too with how you can see these sneakers that were made over the course of Pharrell and Kanye's careers at Adidas. And you can see that they're making classic silhouettes. Even if you kind of go back to, uh, what was that song? The Two Chain song, I'm Different, when uh, Jeremy Scott was doing all his stuff with the sneakers. I think a lot of people won't wear them now, but I think what a lot of people would say were those are classic silhouettes because they changed the sneaker culture back then and they kind of gave a bright eye or shine the light on adidas in a way that wasn't being shined like them right before kanye and pharrell came in but this is this is definitely a dope colorway and a dope sneaker to me this is a really really beautiful sneaker i feel like the 700 v3 in my opinion is the best um it's the best sneaker the best version of the 700 sneaker the v3 is my favorite i really Gonna try and get that white colorway or the all black colorway. I will try to get that in because I really want those. But you know, with Kanye, kind of resale. 
And it's that's something I wanted to talk about too. I think it was a 780 that was sitting. It was either a 780 or 380, whatever the model was. It was sitting in the store when I went to uh, corporate, and that surprised me. But it finally shows that Kanye meant what he said. Everybody's going to get um, Yeezys. And that's definitely, definitely a dope thing to me. It's, it's, and to me, it doesn't stain his reputation in the sneaker world. I feel like every shoe, a lot of shoes that he puts out are his. And I get it, he does the model talk me. But he also is starting to change it up with this shoe and with the, I think it's the 700i or the high version of it. But I, I love that he's changing, uh, changing it up and he's, um, still continuing to give people shoes because I think, like I said, his ultimate goal was for everybody to have some Yeezys. And eventually mines are coming because I, I really want those colors. It's just with me, I'm more picky. So I try to get what I normally wear. But I want to know you guys' feelings on these. I actually do like the little lace lock. I don't see how you lace this shoe up though. That's the one weird part to me. Like, I don't, I don't see how you lace it up. That's a little weird. Yeah, that's one really weird feature to me. How would you loosen this up? And how do you lace it? Because it's essentially you can't lace it, can you? I don't know. Yeah, that's a really, really weird thing. I might have to ask my guy about see what he says about it. But that's that's super weird. I thought they came with extra laces. Let me check for you guys. And yeah, like I said, they come with extra laces um, inside this little cardboard. Which is why I'm not getting how do you, unless you got to pull them out of the lock, maybe, but, um, yeah, the extra laces are just more black laces, which they look like the same ones we got now. I don't know if it's that or you have to cut this one and that one's just a lock version and then you can get the one with the extra lace version. But I'll be sure to show you guys that too. But no, these are, um, this just, I, like I said, Kanye's legacy is like a Sarah's thing. I think he paved the way for a lot of people. Yes, you have the S. Dot Carters and you have the, you have various shoes that rappers had over the years, the 50 Cent, the Genius, um, Genius joints, but I feel like Kanye was the one who did it the best and he kept on it. I guess none of these other rappers signed with brands like that. I mean, no, no, I can't even say that because Master P with the Reeboks. Um, but I don't know how that deal went or if they had their own little special models. But Kanye made every, that's the one thing positive I will say about Kanye is that with every Adidas he's had, he has had his own special model. Like nothing that every time he comes out with a shoe, it's nothing like what you've seen before. And that's one thing I do love about Kanye. And even though they might, even though the shoes might be controversial at first, you, you, they wear on you and they become these classic silhouettes. Um, but I want to thank you guys again for watching. Tell me what your thoughts are on the Yeezy, this Yeezy 700 Kanye night. Um, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, which is, I set up just so you guys can see into kind of the behind the scenes and what's coming up on to the channel. Um, it's Chaz S. Jones Kicks. And then make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Samurai underscore underscore Jones. Uh, like I said, the Instagram is more of the one you probably want to follow if you want to get behind the scenes looks and everything. Um, so there I'm kind of just more all over the place. But thank you guys once again for watching. Make sure you guys watch another video. I have other videos on Adidas if that's what you think, or on Nikes and Jordans. Um, and Pumas and Asics. <laughs> so, this is about everything. I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. Make sure you guys, um, stay safe, stay blessed, and peace.